so... Yo, it's War Criminal Day. It's Puku Day! Puku Day. Hell yeah. My favorite War Criminal. Yeah, here's where it is. I've Actually, completely yeah. overlooked this level. I need- I really need to make a top 10 War Criminals in video games. Numbers 10 through 1. Puku. Puku would probably be like number like, like oh. zero. That's how good he is. He'll be honorable mention. One. The prince in Guru. <laughs> the dark prince in Guru. They are not the same character. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. Yeah. Look, Chuck <laughs> Chucky's going. Chucky's going. Oh, all right. Please go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You know what? Alright. Good, good on you, Chucky. Chucky's a good boy. He's a good boy. If it, if it, yeah, this thing had asked for someone to entertain him. I'm like, I've got, I've got a Chucky in a jar. Okay, <laughs> I don't see any. I've got a young Big man Mac. in a jar. Young yeah, man. Big Mac. Hold on. Big Mac, first and foremost, hello. Uh, second of all, you're a regular on these streams. You should, by this point, know who's on this stream. Who's no, you need call? to understand. You need to understand. I'm gonna defend Big Mac on this one. It's always a top up, whether it's me or Nezzy. You never know. <laughs> For sure. Nezzy do not. We're the same sound. person. We are the same person. You don't sound similar. I am. I am June. They are Nezzy, and we are not the same person. <laughs> we may be similar lives. We may have similar wives. We are different, nonetheless. <laughs> you did it. You made it a song. I told Nezzy forever ago I sent it to him, and I was like, okay, hear me out. <laughs> 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 what if we did this, though? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'll write the lyrics, I'll do it. <laughs> if there's, a, if well, there's the anything I have, I'm up. Zero damage. <laughs> zero damage. You're just I, too strong. I, I thought the little bracket in in the front of the word was L, like E L, and I was like, El wow, that's hard. L guard. My name is El Nino, which in Spanish means the Nino. <laughs> I know nothing about fucking Sly Cooper, but that is my favorite thing ever. <laughs> So anyway, guys, it's me, Sarah Dust. <laughs> oh shit. Go down the hole. It's just me and Avi and Big Mac. That's crazy. One of these days, it's gonna be Wabu, and then and then <laughs> the joke's gonna be on you, Doodle Toe. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, but also, like, Robo Doodle can come in the call whenever she wants. And hand. And cancer. Probably a chocolate? I'm gonna find out. Oh my god. Oh, it's a shortcake. God damn it. Okay. My, my means... brain's autocorrect is really funny. 99% of the time because it autocorrected to maybe a CH into maybe a child Owie. you're like I'm getting it <laughs> I have to I I literally have to or else it doesn't it doesn't count for my score 
boy got a child? I feel like Gudubin is the only game I've ever heard of where you have to take damage because you need to get the the, the healing item. I, I, I think that's actually a thing in Astral Chain because they're like, the, the, the bonus for taking no damage is smaller than the bonus for taking damage and healing it. And I think that's hysterical. That's how you know Potting is a child, because he, when she gets up, she says, MINE! <laughs> when do we kill? Who, who's, the, who's the guy who needs to die in this game? Well, we've already taken care of the dragon, like, Oh, twice. the pedophile. I... Yeah, the, 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 the pedo. Oh. oh <laughs> we I just think... killed Cylinder! <laughs> His name is Cylinder, okay. So, so my... So... I, I'm just gonna fucking... I'm just gonna say it like this. Um, the police one was prophetic yet again. Cylinder is an insult. Mm. Yeah, could you imagine if that's the good ending, Susie? You kill you just Cylinder. Cylinder. You, just, you just kill him. God. What Fucking is? Cylinder. Like, like Puku says the speech again, and then Pari is like, "Hold up, I, I, I know, I know that guy. I know what to do. I know how to make everything better." Lead them into the Don't forest. Puku has his right? vengeance. I, I was gonna say like, you and Puku walk into the, into his house, okay. and you just see the house. And hear the audio. <laughs> like, oh, Perry, Puku, how are you doing today? You still you, thinking you about can't that? See you, you can't see Puku. What do you Puku have a night adult. for? You I can't would see sure Puku. like to be able to attack underwater. That would be fucking awesome. How do you attack? You have to attack from overwater and. Pray Thank you God, Bray. You well, you should, you should pray, you head. should, <laughs> you should pray to Tuershin. <laughs> Wait, do, do you need to like, <laughs> do you need to like jump, yeah. I, I don't know if that will work. Oh, Avi, okay, so Avi, you weren't here for it, you weren't here for that night when I told it the first time, and, 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 and you came like immediately after I told Susie. Mm -hmm. So, my brain, for some reason, unearthed. Uh, Chinese folklore knowledge. So there is a god. Uh, and before you interrupt, do not, uh, because uh, before when I get to the punchline, you'll you'll understand. So there is a god uh, in Chinese folklore with uh, only one with only one known shrine left in uh, Taiwan, the best mm -hmm. the best superior one, and the name the god is called Tu Er Shen or the Rabbit God. And he is the Chinese deity of love and sex between the homosexual. <laughs> cool. <laughs> and if you know, if you already know the two, you already know the, the, the lore of my channel. I do. My character is a rabbit god, and we have yeah. the Pepe Sylvia. <laughs> yeah. So I said that. Uh, so I said I, I, I was like, you know, I need to know this. I need you to know this wasn't intentional. But I am 100% running with it. Also, it makes the Pepe Sylvia just that much better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, from now on, if a person tells me that uh, God is like homosexuals are bad, I'm gonna be like, maybe your God, my God, is based and a rabbit. <laughs> I, I thought you said, I thought you said <laughs> gone, like G A N, and I was like, oh, f okay, so. A part of Doodle Tones is a lesbian. Now we just need. <laughs> <laughs> well, technically, I mean, technically, I mean, technically. Uh, wait, is that a spoiler? I mean, I mean, technically. <laughs> technically, most of Doodle Tones, <laughs> most of Doodle Tones is a lesbian. If we if we look at my ship chart for the Doodle Lore, I mean, technically. <laughs> you still haven't actually made that. <laughs> I haven't had the time. <laughs> What do you think I'm gonna be sitting in the arcade just like uh, making the ship chart? No, because they're gonna start asking questions and then they're gonna look you up and then eventually find me. 
that they'll find police one or the no, police three, excuse me. They'll find police three and they'll they'll hear find me the talk. police. <laughs> 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 I remember what was it yesterday? It was either My yesterday or the day before you. You're a fear. Is it the kids at the youth center? I, like, well, we'll just quote the police. I need you to know yesterday a girl was like reading off YouTubers she watched and was asking me if I saw them. I was like, no, no. And then she's like, started getting into like story time animated YouTubers. And I was like, uh, they're, you're getting a little too close to things I have watched. Please don't say fucking like, have you heard of Doodle Town? <laughs> you heard of this really crazy person named uh, Heaton Mitsuru? Have you heard of a guy called Aaron Tempest? <laughs> no, I, I, I refuse to believe that. I feel like only one person in, in there might watch Aaron Tempest, and that's only because they're smart enough to watch Aaron Tempest. <laughs> I hate water enemies in this game. I wish there was a way to attack underwater. Seriously. Uh... Ha <laughs> ha! The bit continues! Ray could be a thought I was Nezzy. Ha ha ha. The bit continues. What We're the, the same fuck? person. <laughs> and it's so funny because the bit existed before Nezzy and I were on Susie's streams and people were mixing us up. The bit was the bit was from how you how Avi would describe the other to each other. So when Avi described Nezzy to me and then uh, Avi described me to Nezzy. Just be like, yeah, you would like them. Y'all would be friends because you have all these things in common. And then Nezzy and I didn't talk, but we followed each other on Twitter. And then separate from each other, we would make tweets about things we're interested in. And it would be like, I'm interested in that thing. Oh my God. And then we talk to each other. And it's like, are we just the same person? <laughs> we're both half Asian. We're both non-binary. <laughs> Can I not do like, anything in the water? No, because I was born first, uh, Ray. I'm older than Nezzy, so Nezzy would be a, a clone of me. Yeah, no, you're substantially older. <laughs> Fucking hell, Avi! Well, oh, because I think Nezzy's younger than me. You have to say substantially! Well, I mean, if you were, like, a month older, I would say substantially. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Speaking of age... I t a kid asked how old I was, and I said, oh, I'm 26, and she was like, you're 26? And I was like, yeah, I was expecting them to say I was old. They're like, you look 16! And I was like, oh! <laughs> Why don't you I do, do what my dad does and just be like, I'm 21? <laughs> I'm, I'm 21! My dad has been 21 for 25 years. I'm gonna start doing that. <laughs> do it! It'd be really awesome and cool. It'd be a great bit. <laughs> It'll be a cool bit. I can't wait till it's my turn to go. And st I can't. I can't wait till it's my turn to live in your closet, Avi. Oh, cool! My phone's dead. Okay. Cause you lived in mine. Let's, wait. Let's for a bit. When, when did I live in your closet again? When you came over to my house. Is this also a bit, or am I just not remembering that trip at all? <laughs> I'm, I'm saying I can't wait till it's my turn to, to visit you. Oh. <laughs> okay. I mean, my bedroom is as small as like a master closet, so. <laughs> Don't worry. I, I will. I will make a cool bed in my closet for me while you can take the bed. I, can I bring an air mattress on the plane? Uh, good you fucking are not, god, I hate this. You, there is no timeline in which you are bringing an air mattress. 
You are sleeping in a fucking bed. Like you fucking bitch. Don't you fucking dare. Don't you ever. <laughs> Don't you ever think you can do that in my house. You are going to be put in a very nice bed, given just enough blanket so that you are cozy but are not too hot. Thank you. That's the, that, that that's that, that's how you know Avi uh, uh, truly slept over at my house. Yeah, I will give you a cool fan. I'll put a, I'll put the rabbit ears <laughs> I got on the fan. <laughs> So funny. I my, my these fucking water enemies so much. That was a pretty cool. That was a pretty cool scene, though. That slow mo and the echo. I just. I think it's so funny how you are like biologically designed like a video game character. Who? You just with how you describe overheating. <laughs> I just imagined like a game that wasn't really programmed that well. I explained to my to one of my my bosses. I was like, as I said, it was hot out in uh, outside of the arcade because it was all murky and so it was like warm. And he's like, really? I feel fine and I have all these layers on. I was like, oh yeah, um, I overheat easily. I'm a human space heater. I I don't I can't cool down. Uh, yeah. to, to, to give you an idea, I had to change it from 65 to 60 last night because I got too hot in the middle of the night. <laughs> Man. And then you look at me, like, you, you'll like- Oh, I'll you'll... be fucking- You fucking- <laughs> <laughs> I saw you shivering and I just gave you my blanket. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> you're so sweet. And um, all I hear is like underneath all the the, the, the mountain of like it's just. <laughs> you're, no, listen, you're, you're gonna come over and you're just gonna like crack the door when I'm when I'm asleep, and you're gonna see there's like an entire like Mount Rushmore of blankets on me, and you're just gonna hear I'm cold. <laughs> I'm cold. <laughs> 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 uh, no, it's like, yeah, if I perform too many actions, my body overheats. Like, what? 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 Not even that. If, if, if my environment is too warm, my body overheats. <laughs> it, it, if you exist, your body overheats. Well, I mean, if you Pro think too hard, does your, does your head overheat? Because it sometimes does that for me, because, you know... I'm fucking stupid. I was gonna say, I was about to say, my my gameplay nerf is that I'm very temperature sensitive. Period. <laughs> it probably got worse when you started HRT, huh? Mmm, I did. I did. <laughs> that's my that's my other one fear is that I know I'm going to get warmer, <laughs> and I oh. that, that idea makes my life a living hell. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to have to move up north. I cannot survive Texas being warmer than I already am. Well, I mean, don't worry. No, like... Uh, you know, I... <laughs> the, the, don't it, worry, it, this is, this is where the... This is where the joke comes in. It's like, oh, just come to Colorado then. You'll only be miserable uh, for three months. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'll take? Yeah. Hey, you want to hear a really good joke, Yoon? You want to hear a really good joke? Be high for those three months. <laughs> Tell me, you want to hear the best joke? Yes. Come move to California. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to be high for uh, more months. <laughs> Avi, uh, Avi, look, I, I went to, I went to Cal, uh, California once. Uh, actually, like, I think a couple years. No, this was like the year I joined the CC because I think we went to California in 2015. So, um, so it would have been right before I joined the CC actually. That's crazy. Um, uh, <laughs> but, uh, like, we went to California once, 
and uh, I just I just remember laying on the hotel floor just going I want to die. <laughs> hey, wait, you want to know the you want to know the the double you know you know what a double entendre is? Entendre, yeah. Yeah, how it's like there's two meanings to a joke. Haha, -ha. the two meanings to that joke, uh, which may come off as an innocuous statement, are the weather will turn you into a fucking fried shrimp, and uh. Also, my <laughs> living here is like a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, like, it's I have, uh, yeah. My, do you have, like it's twenty six fifty for this for rent every month for like a, a an okay four bedroom. That's fucked up. Yeah, why do you think all the people from California are fucking moving here and making the prices higher? Hey, that's not- listen, that's not my fault. That's- we're just living here. I'm like, just... imagine saying, yeah, I'll move to hell because the rent's better. <laughs> I mean, I'm moving- well, look, I've... I might actually be moving was... to Ohio, though. So. No, I was about to say, uh, it's like, imagine- imagine moving to hell because the rent is better. It's like, actually, I've heard that, uh, that Hell, Michigan has some great real estate. <laughs> um... I keep forgetting that there's an actual place called Hell. And it's I will Detroit. never forget that. Is it- is it in or near <laughs> I will Detroit? never forget that. <laughs> I'm gonna- I'm gonna look up how close is Hell to Detroit. <laughs> I will never forget that there is a place called Hell, Michigan. That is my. That you is, can get like, from Detroit to Hell fact. by bus, taxi, or car. I I think it is my favorite fun fact. Just knowing that there is a place called the Hell, Michigan. <laughs> the distance between Detroit and Hell is 49 miles. <laughs> I'm gonna say that today. I'm like, hey guys, hey kids, you wanna know a fun fact? <coughs> the distance between Detroit and Hell is 49 miles. <laughs> They're like, what? Like, look it up. Oh look up what's the distance between Detroit and Hell. Holy oh, shit, that's so fucking funny. I'm- I'm waiting. Did... It's gonna have to be tomorrow, I... but I'm waiting. You go first, Susie. I was about to say, I do wonder, uh, if they like putting up a, a, a sign every year, like, around, like, winter time, that says, that's right, hell froze over. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Truly, if they don't do that, what's the point? Um, so I have, so there's a kid, um, uh, I've talked about her before, uh, I, uh, she's been, like, mildly interested in, in, in learning little bits and bops about, uh, the languages I, I know and study, one of those being Chinese, obviously, Mandarin, uh, and then, and, uh, one night, my brain did the thing it loves to do most. It engages in gremlin mode, and I was like, you know what you have to do? You have to show her <laughs> the lion-eating poet in the stone den. <laughs> now, y'all might not remember lion-eating poet in the stone den. <laughs> uh, can't- yeah, definitely can't say that rings any bell. Oh. Uh, it- it-, it it's, uh, it's up there. For reasons why I hate Chinese, but goddamn if I will not use it to haze people into the into Mandarin. So the title of the title translated into English is Shu 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 And then it continues Shu 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 It keeps going and that's it it's ju it's one long poetic tongue twister where it's all it's 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 the same technical word with different tones T 
different characters. They all mean different things. Buffalo, 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 buffalo. Yeah, buffalo, that's, buffalo, buffalo. that's just the that's just the, the Chinese version of buffalo. Or police, 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 police. It goes. Uh, so in English, it goes. A poet named Shu lived in a stone room. Fond of lions, he swore that he would eat ten lions. He constantly went to the market to look for ten lions. At ten o'clock, ten lions came to the market, and Shu went to the market. Looking at the ten lion lions, he relied on his arrows to cause the ten lions to pass away. Shu picked up the corpses of the ten lions and took them up to his stone room. The stone room was damp. Uh, Shu ordered a servant to wipe the stone room. As the stone den was, wipe was being wiped, Shu began to try to eat the meat of the ten lions. At the time of the meal, he began to realize that the ten lion corpses were in fact ten stone lions. Ta try to explain this matter. <laughs> and that's... That's the translation of all of those shoes in different tones. Like, if you looked at the characters, you would not expect them to all be the same fucking word! <laughs> <laughs> on one hand, on one hand, it's great practice for tones. If you struggle with tones, um, it's great practice. On the other hand, Fuck Mandarin Chinese! <laughs> well, hold on, what about the Time 25 minutes. I wonder if most of that came from fucking the fish. The That's fish. Not... Just yeah. the fish. The fucking fish, man. I hate. I hate water wait. enemies in this game so much. So, wait, was that one of the two levels you uh, hadn't done before? That was the- that was the one, actually, that I missed. And then in the Ooh. others- the others are about to be unlocked. I just Wait, need to go find back, out who has the umbrella. Go back. Can you go to that little post at the entrance right there? Right there? It's just one of the little face! Who has the umbrella? Hello, I'm Rock. My name is Rocco. You may not have known. This is Chucky. Chucky. Yeah, it's Chucky. All, all roads lead to Chucky. Man. Oh my god, the umbrella. Shining like a fucking ray of light from God. Oh shit. You're wondering, one day I will in fact use, um... That fucking poem. Oh. As a bit for a commentary. I will at some point do it. I thought you were gonna say you'd use Puku as an avatar. The one image of Puku, just the one image of Puku, it's the different, it's the different war criminal Puku quote. <laughs> nah, it's just one image of Puku. With different text on screen. Sleepy. Boy, am I hungry. <laughs> Dude, I watched so much Conjun House with Ellie, and then at random points while we were just sitting in silence, I'd just say, Boy, am I hungry. <laughs> Fuck out. That's Squizville, baby. Sign the ribbon. There you go. Goggles. I'd like to place an order for my- This one likes Tom voice. Much <laughs> like Susie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, suddenly we, when you became conscious of your Twitter likes, there's a lot less tomboys. Actually, you'd be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Susie actually more- it, it was- it, it became- Aggressively tomboy, what do you mean? <laughs> mm -hmm. It actually is, yeah, it's just like, you'd be surprised actually, if you go in there, you'll s still find them. I'm not a beta male, I'm a Tom Jerry. It's like, look, I've become more conscious, that doesn't mean that I've changed the stuff that I've liked. <laughs> and then the Yoon and Pink robot are sitting there like, hmm. Very interesting. 
very, very, very interesting. What if pink robots spell? Wouldn't that be fucking crazy? I almost never want that to happen. Top 10 people you never want to hear speak because it would ruin the mystique. It would. I don't, I don't, yeah, that and I feel like the moment it happens, it would be the signal of something terrible going to happen. It's like if, um... Like a whole entire shift. It's like if Yuki says, fuck. I see these... These white dots, or not these white dots, these yellow dots on the screen, but how do I get to any of them? Oh shit, that fucking... That, that, that old ice was like a cross. It's just like Evangelion. <laughs> Shut up! Oh, <laughs> so stupid! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I just started watching Evangelion, by the way. When does the fucking redhead show up? I have to know when to brace for impact. <laughs> but, um, dish. <laughs> How else is a man supposed to make his impact? <laughs> what? How do I get down there? Did I ever show you the fucking bits? Can where... you down drill? Oh, there we go. Oh, oh look at us using- Look at us sharing the brain cell! Oh, by the way, you know how I said I needed the brain cell? I lied, I don't need the brain cell. I'm not gonna be playing Fire Emblem. I'm gonna be playing more Kirby because I have a crippling addiction. Okay. I thought you were gonna say I'm gonna, I'm gonna play more Kirby because I have crippling clinical depression. I mean, I do. I mean, I, I, I do have cri crippling depression, I just don't want to make dream into a therapy session. Susie, will your epitaph say try again? Uh, I was about to say, first and foremost, uh... What is an epitaph? <laughs> no, because I've, I've seen epitaph erased. Um... <laughs> I mean, I'm asking. Forgot, but if we're going off of the actual dictionary definition, it's a phrase or form of words written in memory of a person who has died. Especially if it's an inscription on a tombstone. Yeah, so I don't- that's the- comes to the question. <laughs> which one are- which definition are we using? <laughs> the dictionary? Sorry, but I read that as empath, and then I imagined Susie going, I'm an empath again! I'm an empath, you're I'm dead. an INFJ. <laughs> <laughs> I love that clip so much. I, it's so I'm an empath. I've been, no, all. Dr. Rand Knuckles hyphenated. <laughs> My epitaph would probably just read shut up. I'm getting so. cremated because nobody can afford a funeral these days. Oh, that's a funeral for you. It there you know, you go. That would read a true god never dies. <laughs> I just ascend. Yeah. No, my epitaph would read, um... Fushigi, the magic gravity ball! <laughs> uh, your grave would be on fire so no one could read it. <laughs> That's what he says. 
I'm mm. an empath. I saw a total Lincoln Continental, and and the owner slumped over, and I said, "He looks dead." Yo, I'm an empath. I met Abraham Lincoln, and I thought vampires are mean. Okay. I just, I just think the meme would be really funny. Avi's, um, Avi's grave would read, uh, in this behemoth typhoon in Hebrew. <laughs> in this behemoth typhoon! <laughs> it's just written in Hebrew. In this behemoth typhoon. I wanted to die. Uh, no, no, I feel like with Avi specifically, it, w it would say in quotations that, and then it says like the instruction in Hebrew, but it's all in English <laughs> on the tombstone with the instructions for it to be in Hebrew. <laughs> God. <laughs> if, you, if you read this and truly care about me, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's the one. My epitaph is a picture of Jacko doing the Jacko pose. Truly no, for me, I. Chaos doing the Jacko pose. Truly for me, I don't really care what happens to my body. After all, I'm gonna be dead. So, like, what do I care? You know what I want someone to do? I really want when I die, if I die of like a heart attack or any r r just thing, as long as you can like cover up the way I died, I want someone to like put me in a closet and like tie a belt around my neck and then hang it to the top of the of the um of of the of my closet, so it just looks like I died choke jerking. Because it's the opposite of Pat. Because when Pat dies, um, Wooly's just gonna put a, 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 a what's it called? A, uh, a, a belt around his neck and just start swinging him around and be like, Hey guys, look what happened! <laughs> it happened! God, Buggy, shut the fuck up. I have work. Oh my god, why are you even asking me questions in my fucking DM? I need a fucking scream. <laughs> what a child. You're gonna be good. <laughs> you, you, you fine over there, buddy? No, he was like, do you want to co op? <laughs> he was like, do you want to script our co op today? And I'm like, yeah, okay, after work. <laughs> he also DM'd me like 10 minutes ago, so I don't know why I'm only making a bit out of it now. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't know. I don't really think about like what people would do to my body once I'm dead. I don't care if I have like a funeral, if I get cremated, if I get thrown in a ditch somewhere, or if uh, I get donated to science. I don't really care at the end of the day. I'd like to get donated to science, actually. <clears throat> but I don't think I'm allowed to. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Damn, those boxes can stay up. They have crazy balance. So what are we doing with these boxes? Button. Mm. Playing some boxes, Wurzel. <laughs> Damn, that's a good death. That's one from a while ago. <laughs> Damn, buddy. I haven't seen that video since fucking... When did I last see that video, actually? I guess just a while ago. That's such a shame, he's a terrible person. I thought... Yo, autocorrect kick, kick in again. And I thought you you were gonna say, it's a shame he's a terrorist. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Damn. 
Damn, I can't believe on terror strike. Listen, my, whether my chat my chat is talking about putting me in a robotic body. That would be an interesting way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Become immortal. That would truly be hell actually. Prove Pat's point correct or wrong. Hey, but what? like but like what what kind of robot body are we talking about? Are we talking about like the brain in the jar or are we talking about like uh, they just said, so they just started, uh, yeah, Dr. R said turn Doodle into the Borg, um, and then continued saying Cyber Doodle is the future. Quote, I'm a Borg. furry, does not compute Cyber called... Doodle 20XX. And then Ray Kamia goes, but why does Cyber Doodle have cat ears and a tail? Susie, in order to become the Borg, all you have to do is call Brooke anti-Semitic. <laughs> That's a throwback. <laughs> That's uh, that's a throwback that I understand though. <laughs> so. I know, right? I know. I, you of all people, I figured you of all people would, Susie. <laughs> what the fuck? Five for nine, 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 nine. What is it? I don't know. We're about to find out. Puku's hand in marriage. A new outfit's been unlocked. <gasps> oh, that's cute. Oh, that's really cute. I like that. I love it. I love it. It's worth the money. Adorable. Can I, like... Is it possible to go back to the other? No. Why would you want to? It's just not possible, though. <laughs> Fuck. It's unusual now. Yeah. That's it. That's... That's just... It's just now... It's so cute though. It's superior. This is the superior outfit. Look at the lace. Ah, oh, look at the lace dread! <laughs> and it go it goes pretty good with with your with the item you're using right now. What Love mug root beer. I want to fucking feel the foam go straight into my. What the fuck? <laughs> I hate this. God, every single meme format nowadays goes from basic shit like this to who can churn out the longest essay. <laughs> Jesus. I, I fucking, I hate this design so much. I hate it so fucking much. It's so fucking bad. What do they do to me? Why do they massacre my boy like this? I'm pissed. I'm furious. I'm vigorous. I'm vicious. I'm a tits.
Oh, cool. There's an infinite you can do with Jigglypuff and Mr. Satin. That's hysterical. It's really funny. I haven't, like... Like, it, Smash Brothers was a game I played for, like, basically my whole life. Since I was, like, six. I thought it was the greatest. It was so cool. and It was awesome. And then I played an actual fighting game. And then I just... It's not that I was like, fuck Smash Bros. I'm never playing this game again. I'm just like, oh yeah, that's a game. That exists. I forgot. I was gonna say it doesn't have chips enough in it, but Sonic is right there. <laughs> now I just want Chip and Strive to be like, come on, step it up. <laughs> All right, Shot Diamond, yes. this is your toy car. Yep. <clears throat> okay, so we unlock that area now. And that one. Cool. I'm gonna skip for a little bit. I'm gonna get ready for my own stream. have a sword now? Nice. Seems like a pretty awesome sword. <laughs> Can't even equip it though. That blows. What do we do with it? I don't know. Anyway. Threaten the cake, the baker. <laughs> Give me some cakes. There's a thing. Apparently, you can get like a like a thing you can get for her uh, store, and it would help with something. But I don't exactly remember what. Still have something to do. cylinder. Oh. So I killed the famous king dragon. It's priceless. I thought you traded in for something I have. I only know how to use drills anyway. An alchemy oh, yeah, book? Alchemy book? What? <laughs> 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 
Oh, there it is. Uh, That's a lot. Uh, That's a lot. But rest okay. regenerates HP. So what the fuck am I gonna do with an alchemy book? Um, so, well, I mean, uh... What am I doing? What is this side quest? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you end up with money. Oh no, she's a nerd. You got chocolate cake. Okay. No, I don't now what do you do I... with the chocolate cake? I don't know. <laughs> what is the side quest I've gotten myself into? Hey, Grandpa, do you want oh. up? <laughs> A rump stick. Who did that go to? <laughs> you. Are we training with the dog? And we use the gold. Now gold. what? <laughs> okay. All right. We're just going <laughs> in a circle, huh? They're going in a circle. Was that it? Was it just? Up. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. <laughs> you got a big sword. An alchemy book somehow downgraded to fucking manga. <laughs> Kink and snake. And they got cold yeah. coins. <laughs> All that for a fucking wallpaper I'm not even gonna use. What the fuck was that side quest even? <laughs> so confusing. So weird. But we gotta get that headband. <sighs> yeah, I figured we do. <laughs> Regenerates health! It completes the outfit. Okay, so what's up here? Face. Living Abyss. Oh, oh it's hell. Oh, it's this music. I like it. Bob, what the fuck are you? <laughs> Body in the abyss, heart in paradise. For some reason, uh, face reveal is trending on a uh, Twitter, and apparently at the same around the same time, so was Markiplier. So something. Oh, and Chief Markiplier finally did a face reveal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the lava's rising. Oh no, the floor is lava. So treacherous. It's terrifying. No! Ah! No! Well, now I guess you can't put Susie in a robot body. She fell into the lava. Oil. 
energy oil. Shortcake. All right. <clears throat> I'm. I don't. Uh, this is awful. I hate this platform so much. Is there short cake in a fucking volcano? I don't know. Why are we in a fucking volcano? Like. Cake or energy oil? Nice. Power oil. This is terrifying. How am I not burning to death? Good question. Next question. Question. Next question. Jumps into the lava. <laughs> <laughs> How am I burning to death? Good question. Next question. Jumps. <laughs> oh, this is so treacherous. I hate it. Okay. Ah. Uh. Good Christ. All right. Uh huh. A boss fight? Looks like it. Oh, I talked to you. It's been quite far. I've been born lately. Let's play together. You okay? Where am I? Who am I? Alright, it's playtime. There you go. Where'd he go? Oh! Little slippery little fucker. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is this fight? Oh my god. Ridiculously hard optional boss fight? I guess this is game froggy then. Yeah. I have done, like, little to nothing to him, haven't I? Yeah. Maybe he has a weakness?
one is which one is the one that I'm supposed to hit? I I literally can't do anything to this guy. <laughs> Ever like died to anything like full on before? Have I gotten no. a game over in this game before? I don't think so. I no. That's to find out what that's like then. know what I'm supposed to do. I don't know either. We don't even know his name. done so little damage to him too and I don't I don't even know if I'm hitting the right one Oh, that's what I'm supposed to do. Let's figure it out. No, 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 no! <laughs> Damn it! Hey. Fucking hell, all that oh. takes out a chunk. Yeah. This thing hits like a truck. I know what I'm supposed to do, but it requires fucking Sonic things, fucking shit, and I'm- uh, I've never been good at that. God, when did Guru Bean become fucking Dark Souls, am I right? Ha 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 ha. When did Guterman become a character action game? <laughs> gotcha. uh, out of nowhere, you start seeing the... the hunt for a, for a visual novel is suddenly a dating sim. You got a romance, Puku. What do you mean, now you're mad? What do you mean, now you're mad? Oh what no! You mean, you oh. Galaxy! Fury! <laughs> oh no, oh no, Susie, run! Susie, run! Susie! Oh no! Oh that my god! 58 damage. You've trained well and running away! Final spark! Flame attack! Oh my god, Susie, I'm scared! This game is so fucking hard! <laughs> oh, 
Oh fuck. Holy shit, I managed to do that! <laughs> Holy crap! Oh my god, they are, they are, they are, they are surrounding me! Relentless! Gaily. Oh my god! Oh, oh, Roxas! You're relentless! Oh my god. <laughs> I wanna go home. I might need the head <laughs> need the maid headdress actually. You might yeah, you might need to be able I to be I, I might actually need that. Oh my god. Holy shit. You know, I love getting my way in the end, but, uh, I don't know how I feel about this one in particular. <laughs> no, no, not Neo Galaxy! Please! 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 <laughs> no! Oh, no, not the solar system! Oh, Jesus Christ. How are you supposed to avoid that? I... Uh, don't know. I have used up all of my healing items. This is it. This is the piece. Oh, God. After everything this game has given me, it fucking no, like... throws this shit at me. <laughs> you beat the final boss with ease, but, but the, little did you know this was lurking in the corner. So <laughs> like, earn your happy ending. Need a fucking moment to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Christ. Ah. If I could just get some hits on him, I could replenish my own health. I'll try. I can't even get attacks in, much less get crits.
No, that's it. That's count. <laughs> that's game. There's no way. There's no way. There's zero way. <laughs> it's a lovely game over screen, though. Jesus. They just pop sucks. you back. <laughs> the music doesn't change anything. They just pop you back in. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm, uh. We're saving that for later. Let's go do something else. Grind some money. Ah, Jesus. Maybe consult a walkthrough, but the easiest way to defeat it. Hello? <gasps> Are you gonna trade? Hawker. Hawker is a three on three square. You need three team members to play Hawker. Okay. Or Hawker. I guess we're gonna go play Hawker. Cause that's now another thing that I need to do. <laughs> It'll probably be a breather compared to what you just went through. I don't know about that. I've seen people complain about Hawker. Oh no. Definitely not Poku. Could you imagine? That'd be hilarious. What? That was some text. What if that's the actual annoying part? Is the process of inviting people to Hawker? Like, no level, no healing items. Ah, uh, good god. I should not have gone in there. Well, you, you, how were you supposed to know that was gonna happen? I didn't. Monsters to play Hawker. How do you, honestly?
need like 5,000 for the headdress, right? Yeah, I think so. We're gonna be at this for more than just this stream, then. I thought we were gonna finish it today. I say No! No! Things are to get more complicated! This game's not fucking finished with me yet. It said fuck you. I it really did. It said you thought, you thought. Actually, on this note, I can get back some of my levels. Someone explain what meta irony is? I don't know. I would imagine it would be uh, irony on a meta level. That's hard to guess. Start looking up how to like get some people to play hawker, that would be great. No problem. I was waiting for you to ask. I just kinda figured you were gonna start looking for it. <laughs> I was thinking about it, but like I, I thought you had a let's see, uh, I thought you had a something pulled up, Gudamin Hawker. I, not right now I don't. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Okay, so it says, when you arrive, you'll find- so you the items you need is a gold medal. When you arrive, you'll find Motoro. He's the blue cat that you've seen throughout the various dungeons, as you might recall. This time, he won't run at the sight of you. After all, you're in his home. Instead, he talks of his tendency to collect precious and rare metals and of a sport called Hawker that he says humans don't know of. Before you can discuss that further, you're prompted with some other options. One such option is the opportunity to give him a platinum medal. When you do, he'll let, he'll let you know that there are a total of 11 such medals in the world. If you find them all, he'll give you some special parts for your drill. That sounds good, but where are the dang medals? Talk to him again and say that you just came to visit him. He's now ready to talk about Hawker again and mentions that there must be three on a team. You, you need to head back to Monster Village now to collect two additional members. Go there and talk to Chucky, then Poco. Uh, they all both join your team. Now you can head back to the gym. 
Oh, I when can't arrive... see any of them? Okay. No. Okay. When you arrive, you'll finally be able to play Hawker. The goal is to kick the ball into the goal a few times. But Toro's team plays for blue, so that's where you'll need to direct the ball. How... Whoever scores the most goals in two minutes win. If the game is going well, you'll know it, because both teams will have a low score. The trick is to use a tar use targeted attacks on the ball, which is only which is the only object you can strike with your drill. Do a lot of jumping moves and keep the ball moving toward uh, the side where Matoro's team is. It's not so much about scoring a lot of goals. You'll probably score two or three by accident if you have enough time with the ball. Rather, it's about keeping the ball in your position most of the time so that Matoro and crew can't score. When you win, you'll receive a gold medal as a reward. Now you're done with the area and can get back to dungeon crawling. Now, what was that other place? Like, the Abyss? Yeah. I'm gonna look up that boss fight. Something tells me that one's just play well. Found his name. <laughs> okay, boss battle. <laughs> this battle will kick your butt. I really don't know what else to say. <laughs> uh, that's, that's what I thought. Just play well. <laughs> It keeps going, I haven't been able to completely win it, though I do manage to get his health down pretty low. Then he uses an instant kill move that what? I haven't found a way to avoid. Pointers would be appreciated. Oh no! There's an oh, instant okay. kill move. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep reading it, okay? Because there was an edit, so let's see what happened. <laughs> When the battle starts, uh, do you care about me spoiling his name? I don't care. Black Bean, <laughs> and you oh, will be yeah. alone. Oh, you see that when you talk to him. Okay. Black Bean and you will be alone in the arena. It's a pretty straightforward battle at this point. Just move in and use as many of your launch attacks as you can. Keep his life meter draining and you'll get him down a fair bit before he even knows what happened. Then he'll start dropping little balls of aura as he dashes around. Keep avoiding those while you continue to hammer on your li on your little opponent. When he's taken enough damage like that, he'll split. He'll begin to split into clones. These clones don't all take damage that will cause his life meter to shrink. The best you can do is have them all attack you from the sides. At which point, your drill tornado attacks will be your friend. You can do pretty hefty damage if you hit Black Bean with your most powerful attacks at this point. While Black Bean is split in multiple images, he has a few, he has a few attacks. Mostly he just fires projectiles of, of one sort or another. You can dash guard to avoid those and sneak in some hits of your own when you get the chance. When the three Black Bean figures converge on the center of the arena and start to run in fast circles, you'll hear a hum as a pillar of war starts spreading starts slowly spreading quickly run to the edge of the arena when you see or hear this happening and you'll find some bat enemies you can use them as step stools to climb above the impending blast don't follow up here or you'll t drop and take damage not severe damage but it's damage you don't need that's bullshit it is severe damage <laughs> when the blast is gone the bats will also vanish and you can drop into the arena to continue your pounding. When you get his life meter down to one third, Blackbean will, will declare that he is now mad. Rings will soon appear in the cavern floor as you rush to avoid them. A huge blast will shake the entire cavern and oh that's the insta kill though. It insta kills me, let me know if you have better luck and find a way to avoid it. Edit. Over on Twitter, per per 
Persepo Persopolis band contacted us with the following advice. After he shoots the blue lasers, he charges up the big one. He sends out gold rings before the explosion. Between the third and fourth, use dragon flame. Dash guard plus spin attack. Uh, when you use this, you are immortal for a second, just long enough to dodge Neo Galaxy. It works probably 75% of the time, depending on the player's timing. <laughs> so just play well. Yeah. <laughs> for now, for now, I'm just gonna leave it at just play well. I'll figure it out later. <laughs> Currently playing Hawker, and this is a lot more hectic than I thought it would be. I'm already losing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Uh... No, that's it. I don't think I'm gonna get, be able to get it back. It's so hard to get a goal. <sighs> that's what they said. For, that's why they said your main objective is not to get a goal. It's to make sure it stays. <laughs> Oh, come on! So yeah, but how, how am I supposed to, like, worry about that if I don't have any points? <laughs> if I don't have the, enough points to deal with that? Uh, or Cocker. Like, I, they got the first goal. I had to get a goal next. And then I have to get at least one more goal before I can sit here and start going, Oh, yeah, let's... Let's worry about ki keep away, you know. They said that like they said like well the, the the thing said to to worry more like in general worry more about keeping it on their side to like not letting them get it. I'm over here. <laughs> so hard though. <laughs> they said they said if the <laughs> if the points are low on both sides, that's how you know you're winning. <laughs> and they think that's such a terrible thing. <laughs> Just a wall. He's so big, it's not fair. He's like the biggest one on the fucking field. Why He's couldn't I get Rocco? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Susie. <laughs> you can do it, you can do it, Susie. I cannot. Tie it up, Susie. Where even is it? Oh, oh never no, mind. I didn't even That's I game. lost completely where the ball was. That's gay. This game. He's so big. He's so big. That's so unfair. They really said earn your happy ending, huh? Fuck you. At least one goal, right? I think so. 
It's blood you fall all over again. <laughs> make, one, make one goal. And then just do that for all of it. I appreciate your teammates over there hanging out. Yeah. You guys doing good? Oh, oh. Ah! Oh, that's terrifying. He's just standing there! Like, what are you gonna do? It's a nice looking ball, right? Ah! 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 You flew too close to the sun, Icarus! Is it broken? No, he just stands there menacingly. I, I feel like Chucky's gonna get... Killed. <gasps> yeah. Okay. Now play keep away for. The, just do that. Figure out how to do that and play keep away the whole entire time. Susie, break the game. Break. Go, oh, Susie, it. please. No, no, Susie. You gotta play keep away. You gotta play keep away, Doodle Tones. No. Oh, jeez. Whoa. Yeah. That wasn't. That was accidental, but I'll take it. No, 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 no. No! Keep it away! No! No! Well, we still got a point. Whatever. No, just now you just gotta stall for seconds. nine seconds, nine seconds. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> We did it! Jesus! <laughs> God, that was so dumb. W's in the chat! W's in the <laughs> chat! If that's not the dumbest thing I've done this game. Oh, this is... With ball strats worked, yeah. <laughs> well, the last thing left to do is to deal with grind. Mean. Yeah, we're gonna grind <laughs> first. While you're grinding, I'm gonna get some water pre made for my job. I'll be back. <sighs> I need to find a good level to get a Again. bunch of junk into. I feel like that would be really nice. Nice to have. If I have to, I will grind off stream. <laughs> Look up the best place to get junk and gold.
I have returned. Welcome back. Oh, I've heard doing this thing with QT since last night. It, it was a joke at first. Um, I got string cheese now, and I threw one. Like it's still still on the wrapper, obviously. On the floor, I was like, Chi-Chi, think fast, and I threw it. And like, um, as I threw it, she like <laughs> lunged for it, and then looked at me like I got it. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> So I wanted to see if it was a coincidence, so every time I got string cheese, I would do it. It <laughs> keeps doing it. Cats are weird. It's Chi Chi. But the cats are weird. Why is string cheese in particular so good? You. I told you, dog owner. Dogs have like normal names, like Max or like fucking Balto or whatever. And then cats, they're like pot roast, pineapple chips, garbage disposal. Friendly reminder: Chi Chi's full name translates to Chi Chi, the white spots left after bleaching, Nuggets Destroyer of the Rich. Closest to that kind of cat name that we have is Butterball, but that doesn't necessarily sound like a, a name like a cat wouldn't have. Like, it's not the, the weird kind of cat name that you're insinuating here. The cat's names are <laughs> Cloak, Dagger, and Pineapple Chips. I think my ex had like the most normal names for him. So there is um 
Mal, which is cat in Chinese. Then there's um, Bobby, but nobody calls him Bobby. You call him the loser. He's a loser. May he rest in peace. Then there's Tom, or Fat Tom, because he was fat. May he rest in peace. And then there was Admiral, or Addy. May he rest in peace. Then my friends, it was, um, uh, Pip and Punky. I know a cat named Subway. I call him Subaru, though. To be fair, Pineapple was named before I adopted her in the foster. They took her care of her mom and siblings, named them after different chips like banana chips, potato chips. <laughs> That's great. Our cat's names are, uh, Punkin, like P-U-N-K-I-N, um, Butterball, Cat Pine, Sweet Pea, uh, Bunny, because she has, like, a little stubby tail. Half Pine only has half a tail. Um, and then... Hold on, I need to make sure I went through all. Um, butter. Uh. Oh yeah, and then zoom. Does he have the newmies? Uh, when she was a kid, she would like run around the house a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so we just I will be back zoom. again. I'm gonna get water for myself this time. After eating three string cheeses, suddenly I'm thirsty. This has been your friendly reminder that I live in, or I live under a roof with the crazy cat lady. <sighs> Welcome back. Yeah, for the folks at home. Give me a second. Gotta settle in. I was just telling everyone, this has been their friendly reminder that I live under the same roof as the, cr uh, as the crazy cat lady. <laughs> I mean, not wrong. Six For cats every in the house? It it's like six cats in the house, uh, take care of two in the backyard, and then every now and then a, a third one will show up in the backyard too. So for all of those who are unaware of Chi Chi's full government name, it's Chi Chi Piao by Hold 
Whole little shot to buy a tea and nugget destroy other rich. Chi Chi or Chi Chi Nugget for short. But when he's in trouble, it's Piao Bai. Uh, which translates to Chi Chi, the white spots left after bleaching, nugget destroy other rich. And then Mimi is Mimi de memes, but beams. Uh, destroyer of worlds. Which translates to Mimi de memes, but beams, destroyer of worlds. That one is just. <laughs> I like doing Chi Chi's full government name and then doing Mimi's because they all say, well, what does that one translate to? And I'm like, <laughs> Mimi to memes, but beams. My favorite part yeah. is telling people that I have six cats and then follow that up after they inevitably ask me to show pictures and say I don't have any. <laughs> Excuse me, that is not how you spell Chi Chi. Don't you fucking whitewash my cat's name. It is QIQI. -Q -I. She is Chinese. This is an Asian asshole. <laughs> This is a Taiwanese household, we speak Mandarin. Both Mimi and Chi Chi's names are in Chinese. Mimi is Meow in Chinese, that's cool. and then Chi Chi uh, translates to like fine jade, like refined jade in particular, I believe. People keep thinking that I named her after the, the Genshin Impact character, and then I gotta say, no, I didn't, actually. Yeah, fine jade. That's what it is. Fine jade. Can't just be regular jade. It's fine, fi fine jade. And me and Chi Chi was in fact given the name Chi Chi to coincide with the theming of Mimi. recently got a new dog after the last one had passed, um, and, uh, she, what was it, the, the dog's name is Chewbacca, <laughs> so apparently my grandmother has just been calling him Chewy. That's adorable. Fucking oh, adorable. Oh yeah, another box! Look at you! Let me look up again, just in case, how much that maid thing is. The maid headband. It's like, like 53,000, right? I'm pretty sure it was 50,000. I'm looking it up. Made hat. I didn't even say how much it cost. I think it was 54. The uh, point is, it's more money than what I have right now. Uh, I'm also trying to get a bunch of junk. Um, I want to upgrade. Uh. I want to upgrade the headdress, just in case, like as a last resort. I feel like if I upgrade it to its fullest potential, 
feel like that could be really good. Not like the main headdress, though, the one I currently have, because this yeah. one is really powerful. It makes me immune to pretty much everything, for the most part. Would it be appropriate to ask cat health questions? I wouldn't know the answer to any of them. Me either, honestly. <laughs> I just, uh, freak out for a bit, uh, calm down, and then take my cat to the vet, and then put myself in debt. wanted to make the joke it's like as far as as far as whenever the cats have something wrong with them my mom kind of just treats it as if it was something wrong with us hey. <laughs> it's like you know what that means I do Oh, dang, the, ma the maid hat's pretty good. So, at level 1 regenerates HP, then it's 2, damage reduced by 25, damage reduced by 50, attack damage times 1.2, and then question mark. <laughs> I'm just trying to, like, boost this thing up. It, already it makes me immune to gas damage, immune to water damage, immune to trap da uh, damage. It displays jars and rocks on minimap. It, uh, displays chests on minimap. It, uh, reduces damage by 25%. Uh. Uh, <laughs> when you get to this level 4, it'll reduce it by 50. Mm-hmm. It'll kind of do, um, what my helmet does already. <sighs> yeah, in any case... Say... Go 
got one more level. It says I got two more, though. That's weird. I've done everything else. Quite literally everything else except the fucking optional boss fight that is going to destroy me. <laughs> and her walkthrough couldn't even do. Ugh. Anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and hop off. Tomorrow is... Do I have to Thursdays again? Pokemon. Um, so yeah. Ah, I thought we were gonna be done with this game. No, we are not. <laughs> Later, guys.